This is my entire vinyl collection video. It might be a long video. I'm gonna try to make it about 20 minutes or less. If I go over that, I am very, very, very sorry. I've been collecting for about a year now, and this is all the records I have. I wanna say I have about 80 or more. Uh, I have a lot more coming in that I pre-ordered from last year, some I got this year, and I don't know. I just have a lot of records coming in. If you guys wanna get into this hobby, it is a expensive hobby and it's addicting. Do I recommend it? Yeah, but just try to control yourselves. I don't really recommend buying a lot of records. Only just buy the records that you love. That That's what I tried to do, but obviously there's some records that, that I bought that, well, I don't know, I just felt like buying them and uh, they were cheap too, so. But yeah, if you guys are just trying your guys' own collection, I recommend just sticking with your favorite albums. This is a, like I said, it's an addicting hobby. Once you guys buy one, you guys are going to want to buy more and more and more. It could get expensive. All right, let's get started. Grab some snacks, some popcorn, some drinks. I have here my own drink, Powerade. And sit back and enjoy the video. Let's start off with some 7 inches. I only have two. Um, I do have two more coming in. One is actually shipped and should be here either this week or next week. So hopefully I get that soon. Once I get it, I'll do an unboxing of it. But yeah, I got here the Scots, which I did unbox. It's in a nice pink uh, vinyl. And then Franchise here, Travis Scott. I mean, both these singles, if we're being honest, they were mid. And I am a fan of Travis Scott and a fan of Kid Cudi. But I was expecting so much more for Travis Scott and Travis Scott and Kid Cudi. I'm hoping uh, if they do make an album together, I'm hoping it's so much better than this. All right, now we're getting into some soundtracks here before we get into actual albums. We're getting into soundtracks first. We got here the Polo Express. Uh, dope soundtrack. The first half is actually music that was made for the movie. And then the second half is just classic Christmas songs. Nacho Libre. In my opinion, this is a classic movie. I just had to get the soundtrack. It's a nice translucent red. I think it's translucent. I'm not sure. But yeah, dope. Uh, movie, if you guys haven't seen it, highly recommend it. It's a funny movie. I want to say Jack Black's best movie. Next one up, we got here is Shrek, the motion picture soundtrack, my favorite animated movie of all time. It's a nice limited edition green. And last but not least, the only, uh, the only hip hop soundtrack I have is Superfly. I haven't seen this movie. If you guys seen it, please let me know uh, if it's any good or not. I got this just because. I did like some songs on it. Uh, I haven't listened to the whole thing. Hopefully soon I will. I got it for $15 at Amazon, so not bad. And supposedly it's on limited edition smoke and gold vinyl. That's actually pretty dope. Now we're getting to some actual albums. We got here Khalid, American Teen. On a nice standard black. I got this for $13, so I was like, why not? This is like the most basic record. Look up vinyl collection videos. Almost everybody has this. Does this make me... Basic, I don't know. Nice album that sounds good on record on vinyl. Free Spirit by Khalid. This is the Target version. It's a nice translucent orange. I do prefer this one over his uh, debut album. This record does sound dope on vinyl, especially the intro track. That song is amazing. I'm telling you, Harry Styles. Uh, also another basic record, but I'm not gonna lie. This album is amazing. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Nice splattered uh, vinyl right there. Harry Styles impressed me with this one. Uh, haven't yet listened to his first album. I will. And if I like it, then I'll buy it. I have my cassette collection back there. Cassette collection video coming soon. Okay, next we got here is John Bell and the Human Condition on a nice clear record. If you guys haven't checked this one out, I highly recommend checking this album out. It's so amazing. We got here Beer Bongs and Bellies. In the back, I want to say my favorite Post Malone record, honestly. And then we got here, Hollywood's Bleeding. Uh, got these two in a, um, and then buy two get one free. I'm not sure if I'm if I'm gonna get a Stony, but if I do, then well, I guess you guys are gonna see it in the uh, next vinyl collection video. And this is the record that I got for free. I got Jeezy. Beautiful and damn. This is the only al album I don't have on CD from him. Like, I have the other two, but I don't have this one on CD. But I will get it soon. This album to me is eh. I only got it because it was free. 
there's some good songs on here, but uh, again, I only got it because it was free. I'm probably I'm gonna get his other two just to complete the collection. I guess I told myself I wasn't gonna get records that I don't need, and that that's a record that I don't need, but I got it. Next one up, we got here J. Cole, probably the most funniest unboxing ever. 2014 Ford So Drive. If you guys haven't seen my unboxing of this, go check it out. Yeah, I'm not gonna say nothing about it. I mean, it's a dope album. I wish I had a second uh, LP though, because it had my, or it has my favorite song from J. Cole, Love Yours. Next one up we got here is Logic. No pressure. The only Logic record I have, I did get, I, I did have a discount code for this one. I got it for like $16, so that's the only reason why I got it. I mean, dope record. This again, this is another record that I don't need, but I have it. I do need to get Under Pressure and what's the other one? The Incredible Toy Story for vinyl. They're kind of hard to find now. At least the deluxe version for Under Pressure and the Incredible Toy Story. Next one up we got here is Joey Badass with All American Badass. Can't wait to play it. I have a whole ton of records. You guys are not ready for this. Waking My Love by Charles Gambino. This record sounds amazing on vinyl. So if you guys do love this album, definitely pick it up. At uh, first, I didn't really enjoy the vinyl. I mean, the record. Once I listened to it on vinyl, I guess it just grew on me, honestly. Okay, I need to get uh, his debut album. Because the internet. Next one up we got here is Wale. Wow, that's crazy. This is a record store day exclusive, a nice red, amazing record, a underrated record that came out in like 2019, I think, 2019. And the reason why I'm looking to the side is because I have my laptop right here where I can see the screen of the phone. So that's why I'm looking over here. Cuevo Hancho, and Cuevo. The sound was cheap, so that's why I got it. Um, if Cuevo took off like half the songs, this album could have been better than Offsets and take off that's for sure i will get the last rocket and the father of four on vinyl for sure ray shimmered shrimp life one on a nice translucent red a nice chop album you know okay next one we got here is juice world's best album we got goodbye and good riddance on a nice black record super dope i do love the uh theme on this album that's why i do love this album a lot fuck love but killer roy if you guys do love that album from Juice World, then you guys will love Fuck Love by Killer Roy. It's a nice standard black. Okay, let's continue. Uh, I don't think I'm even halfway there. I have a whole lot more records. But uh, we got here Mac Miller, The Divine Feminine. On a nice pink record. Probably my second favorite album with Mac Miller. Obviously, still talking about Mac Miller. We got here Circles. Probably his best work, at least in my opinion. I started, I started to get his other... Albums on vinyl like swimming, but yeah, super dope record. One of my favorite albums of 2020, Taboo by Denzel Curry. A nice slushy red record. One of the best albums of 2018 for sure. Probably Denzel Curry's best work. And excited to see what he has to offer this year. We get the Capio 2 with the ID, also a uh, nice black record. Excited to see what he has to offer this year since he didn't release in like two years already. So I'm expecting something from the JID in 2021. I'll show you guys my vinyl setup uh, at the end of the video. Okay, my newest record to add to the collection. Well, not my newest, but one of my newest records to add to the collection. We got Revenge of the Dreamers 3. This is the deluxe version. I do prefer this version just because it has a nice art trick. The other one was just plain and simple. Uh, I got this one just because of uh, Black. He has like one song on here. Probably the main reason why I got it. If you guys cannot tell, I'm a huge fan of Black. Okay, next up we got here, Limbo by Mine. <sighs> what can I say about this album that already hasn't been said? This album is amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out, highly recommend it. I have the poster signed by Mine. I have the cassette. I have the CD. I was gonna get a crew neck, but they ended up canceling the crew neck for me. I was like, what the fuck? I think it's because they uh, ran out of uh, inventory and stuff. Yeah, I can't wait to listen to this. I haven't had a chance to listen to it. Uh, hopefully soon I will. 
Okay, next up we got here is Cherry Bomb, the record store day exclusive. Super dope. Haven't yet opened it and haven't yet listened to this record. Uh, I might sell it in the future. I don't know. Or I might keep it. I really don't know. I'm going to have to see. If the price is right, I'll sell it. The only Tyler record I have, like, I need to get Flower Boy and Igor. And Wolf, too. Well, uh, I'm not sure about Wolf, but let's continue. Let's continue. We got here Song Machines by Gorillaz. I feel like the camera got too close to me. Gorillas and a nice yellow vinyl. Super dope album, one of the best albums of 2020. Highly recommend if you guys haven't checked this one out. Next up, we got here an underrated album of 2020, or in just a underrated album in general. If you guys haven't checked this one out, do you guys yourself a favor and go check it out. Theo London Baby and a nice uh, Coke record. I uh, can't wait to see what he has this year. He said he was going to drop another album, so. We'll see. Next up we got here is Orange. Not Orange Rex County. Rex Orange County? Forgot his name. Fuck. <laughs> Pony. This is the Urban Outfitters exclusive, the yellow record. If you guys haven't checked this one out, again, do you guys yourself a favor and go check it out. Highly recommend this. Especially 10 out of 10. Pluto um, projector. Face to face. Stressed out. This album is full of hits, I'm telling you. If you guys love Frank Ocean, then you guys are gonna love him. Team Impala, The Slow Rush, dope record. Another amazing record that came out in 2020. Highly recommend checking this one now as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna sound amazing on vinyl. Like, this is one of the, uh, like, this is an album that I'm pretty sure is gonna sound so good on vinyl. Like, there's albums that are meant to be played on vinyl, and then there's albums that are not meant to be played on vinyl. This is one of the albums that are meant to be played on vinyl. I just feel like, I mean, I haven't yet listened to it, but... I feel like it is. This is. I'm pretty sure it's gonna sound amazing. The next record we got here is X, the 17. This is another album that I feel like it's just meant to be playing on vinyl. I bought it last year. I haven't yet opened it. I'm probably gonna open it now. Honestly, I was gonna wait till I get question mark, but fuck it. I'm just gonna open it. Uh, next up we got here skins. I told myself I wasn't gonna buy this, but I bought it. This is the picture disc version. I bought it because it was eight dollars. So eight dollars for a record. Why not? You know what I'm saying? This album isn't good, but for eight dollars, that's like the the price of a CD. You know, definitely worth it in my opinion. Okay, next up we got here is Day New Religion, a underrated R&B group. Honestly, can't wait to listen to this album. This album's amazing. I'm hoping they release Amanda tapes on vinyl. But yeah, amazing record. Okay, uh, my phone just ran out of space, so I had to delete some stuff. And you know what? I went to uh, take a quick break. So, but yeah, we're back at it again. Let's go. Let's continue. We got Playboy Cardi self-titled album next. Um, solid record, you know. Nothing uh, too amazing or anything like that. We got Savage Mode 2. Great record. Nice red. Uh, one of the best albums of uh, 2020. Right, Rich. Please don't excuse me. No, please excuse me for being antisocial. Nice standard black record. One of the best albums of uh, 2019. War Baby is an amazing track and it sounds good on vinyl. Okay, next we got here some feature records. Let me see. We got um, Honest. It's feature, a nice uh, splattered black record. Super cool. A lot of people don't talk about this when it comes down to feature. I feel like this is top three feature right here Like if not probably my favorite album uh, It's either between this or Hendrix like that's how good this album is like I, I don't know why a lot of people just think this album was eh, it's, it's all right, but no, it's not it's great. It's really really great Hendrix I love when a feature goes into like a R&B mode Future is an amazing artist, and uh, can't wait to see if he uh, what he brings into the table in 2020. I mean, 2021. Uh, speaking of 2020, we got High of Life with Future, a nice smoky gray vinyl. One of the best albums of 2020. Future, not miss. We got Jack Boys, uh, a nice neon yellow, super cool. Album is alright. You know, it's only seven tracks. Should have been longer in my opinion. Uh, this, those tracks that were in here, I feel like they could have picked so much better tracks. I do like What to Do. Um, 
and Hand Enough. Those are my two favorites from here. But yeah, I wish they would have uh, kept Ice in the Room, the original on here. Next up we got here is obviously Rodeo with Travis Scott, the only Travis Scott record I have. I have Astroworld coming in soon, and then hopefully I get uh, Birds in the Trap Scene Midnight. So yeah, super cool. Standard Black. And now we're getting to some R&B records. We got, uh, let's start off with Daniel Caesar. He only has like two albums out on vinyl. We got Frodian. Haven't had a chance to listen to this. Can't wait to listen to it. I'm pretty sure it's going to sound amazing on, on Wax. Here's, here's the back. Supposedly it's on a nice blue record. I don't have a blue record, so can't wait to see how it looks like. Oof. And then obviously we got my favorite project from Daniel Caesar on the vinyl. We got Case Study 01, which is my profile pic on YouTube. Super dope in the back. Case Study 01. This is uh, the Black Friday uh, exclusive. Uh, I'm not sure if it's like a rare record or not. I don't know. Uh, and then obviously I got here. Every now for this exclusive with the uh, cover here, case study or destroy your worlds from the uh, the lyric from Entropy, and then it's a nice clear vinyl. Okay, going into some uh, Frank Ocean now. Let's go into some Frank Ocean. We got uh, only two records, obviously both blue leg records. We got uh, Star Dojo. Part of my second uh, favorite project of this. I had to get it on vinyl. I'm probably going to listen to this next. I'll be honest with you. I want to listen to Strawberry Swing. So I'm going to kick the record down there. But yeah, here's the back. You got a blonde. Nice orange record. I mean, it sounds good. The only song that um, doesn't really sound good uh, is Night. On here, at least when the beat switches. Okay, let's go into uh, Phoebe Bridgers. We got Sunjan Alep's amazing, amazing record. I'm telling you, this album, oof, one of my favorite albums of all time. I'll be honest with you guys. Shout out to Kid Cudi for putting me on into her. I love this album so much. If I listened to this back in 2017, it would have been one of my favorite albums of, of that year, honestly. Her voice is just so soothing. I highly recommend checking this project out. Um, can't wait to listen to this on vinyl. Like this album is gonna be the record that I'm gonna play a lot on vinyl. I'm glad I have it. Can't wait to check this out. I do have Punisher, so let me show you, let me show you guys that. We got Punisher, her second album. This one I actually haven't listened to yet. The the reason why is because um, I wanted to listen to it for the first time on vinyl. Just because I know it's going to sound good on vinyl. So that's why I haven't yet checked it out. Uh, I did listen to the first four tracks on here. But I stopped and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy the record. So this record is kind of like a blind buy. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth it. It's not really R&B, but I'm putting it next to Frank Ocean. Just because they both sing amazing got okay next we got my favorite r&b artist of all time one of my favorite artists of all time probably top five top three probably we got black free black on vinyl i love this album so much my favorite projects one of my favorite projects of all time as well and obviously i got uh east of to love letter Sunday edition Super dope. Can't wait to see what he has in store for uh, 2021. He's supposed to drop an album this year because he didn't drop one last year. He did drop an EP last year. But that's just an EP. I'm expecting a whole ass full, al full album. Okay, now let's get into some weekend. Obviously, I got here a weekend shirt. So let's get into some weekend records. <laughs> records. 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 Kiss Land, my favorite weekend project honestly i just had to get it on vinyl i need to get this on cd as well so hopefully i'll buy you soon but we got the weekend kiss land five year anniversary edition every single song on here hits i'm just telling you every single song on here hits my favorite weekend project i would say it's better than the trilogy honestly uh next one up we got here beauty behind the madness the five year anniversary edition Here's the back. 
this is the album that I put at the weekend on into mainstream music, honestly. Like, you got The Hills, Often, Earn It. Uh, I don't have Starboy. I don't have uh, his mixtapes. Hopefully soon I'll get them, but I don't have them for now. Okay, we got My Dear Melancholy. This is the Black Friday exclusive. Solid project. All, um, n Not all seven songs hit, but most of them do. Uh, favorite song on here is Privilege. That song is such a sounds good on vinyl. Uh, I'm glad I have it. Uh, hold on, let me show you guys this. I do have time to show you guys this, right? Look at this back. Actually, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's a it's the face of the weekend. Oh, it's backwards. If you guys haven't checked out my unboxing of this, definitely check it out after hours. A nice splatter red. The weekend performs the Super Bowl. He did an, an amazing job. After hours, the remixes and a nice purple. One of my favorite records I own. Like the, the color of it is just so amazing. The last R&B artist is probably next door. I wish I owned all his albums on vinyl, honestly. But we got Party Mobile. Nice black. Standard record, amazing album. I know a lot of people didn't really like this. I thought it was great and it's amazing. One of the best albums of 2020. I think it was on my top 10. Savage Mode was my favorite song of 2020. So whew, this whole album is great, honestly. Okay, we're almost done, so that's good. I have like 20 more records to show you guys. But uh, Dominic Feike, don't forget about me. Demo tapes. I can't wait to listen to this. It's gonna sound amazing on vinyl. I just know. Keen of everything. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, what can I say about this album? I love it so much. It was my top, it was in my top two albums of 2020. I have the poster here, and I also have a shirt from this album, and then I have a cassette, I have a fucking CD. I just love this album, and I love the cover too. Going to some Jaden records, I only have two. Hopefully he presses uh, Cool Tapes Volume 3 on vinyl, but yeah, we got Sire. Yeah, I had a chance to listen to it. Amazing record, I can't wait to play it on vinyl. Iris, amazing uh, sequel to Sire. I just know this is gonna sound amazing on vinyl as well. Summertime in Paris on my own. Oops, stop on. Okay, and then we got Kim Push. I have to date Tone up soon. Now the best album of 2020, one of my favorite albums of all time, 070 Shake, Morris Vivendi. A nice orange record. Also got here the signed jacket here. I pre-ordered back when the album was about to come out. I had to get that framed, honestly. I can't tell you how great this album is. This album is just great. If you guys haven't checked it out, highly recommend it. Okay, we got St. John Collection 1. And get all these low songs. I mean, what can I say about these albums? I love these albums so much. Like, oof. And I'm glad I own them on vinyl. They are kind of expensive now. So I'm glad I own this, which is... Oof. Right there. A thumbnail? No. Uh, but yeah, we got St. John. St. John is like one of my favorite artists currently. He's like in the top five or something. Uh, let's get into my favorite artist now. I'm, I'm going to save the most expensive record uh, I bought to the last. Uh, but yeah, let's, wait, I, should, I forgot to show some Kit Cudi records. I only got two. I'm supposedly getting uh, Man on the Moon 2 in the mail soon from Amazon. Uh, we got Man on the Moon 1. And then we got Any Cud. Obviously, I don't have his his other records because, well, they're expensive. The only one I'm getting soon is Man on the Moon 2, and hopefully I get Man on the Moon 3 soon. All right, so my favorite artist, if you guys don't know who my favorite artist is, well, it's Kanye West. Guy called his dropout. His first album, album means a lot to me. We got Late Registration, another amazing album. Kanye West has no album below a seven i'm telling you all his albums are are above a seven obviously we got graduation it's not playing i mean yeah listen to this all his albums i haven't yet opened his albums except for like kissy goes because well i'm waiting until i get the life of pablo we got it awaits and heartbreak my favorite album of all time love this album so much and the day i play this on vinyl whew, it's gonna be one of my Best days ever. My beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Love this album. My second favorite album of Kanye West. I'm running out of <laughs> space here, so I have to hurry up. Uh, we got Watch the Throne. <sighs> Amazing vinyl. I paid forty bucks for this. It's new and everything. I paid forty bucks. It's a steal, honestly. 
amazing record. Love it. Like I said, I have all Kanye West's records. I'm telling you. We got Cruel Summer. I think my phone just moved. We got Cruel Summer. This is the Ibu Link, of course. Solid label record. Jesus. Cool. Love that album too. Don't have The Life of Pablo, so we're gonna go ahead and skip The Life of Pablo. Uh, let's get into uh, Yay. Amazing seven track album. Got two copies of Kids Go. I have the original copy here. Standard black vinyl. And then the pink version, which supposedly Target is also getting this copy or that version. And then last but not least, at least for the Kanye West records, we got Jesus King. What a nice blue record. Trust the symbol. Uh, I do have a blue record, but the other one's like an opaque one. This one's a translucent. And my last record, but not least, is. Holy shit. You guys are not ready for this. You guys are not ready for this. <sighs> my very young dog album. I finally got it. Oh, it's a pink record. Here, let me show you. Oof. Yeah. Love this album. I'm glad I have it. I paid a lot for this. I paid a lot for this, but I'm glad I have it, honestly. Young Thug. Young Thugger. Let's go. Alright, that's all the records I have for now. I'm gonna get a lot of more records this week, next week, but this is the last time I'm gonna do an entire vinyl collection. The next vinyl collection you guys will see will be an updated version of this. So these records will not be in my next vinyl collection. Uh, it'll just be the records that you don't see in this video. Uh, but yeah, I love collecting records. It's expensive. If you guys want to get into this hobby, I recommend just buy the records that you love. Don't buy the records that you guys don't need. Obviously, I bought records that I don't really need, and so I kind of regret doing that. But if you guys are trying to start a collection, buy records that you guys love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, vinyl, I'm not vinyl collection, CD collection and cassette collection coming soon. Um, my next video that I'm going to probably do is a cassette collection and then a CD collection probably later down the road. Uh, but yeah, here I'm going to show you guys my vinyl setup and my turntable setup and everything. Here's my setup. I do have the Audio Technica ATLP 120X USB. So if anybody's wondering, it's a good solid turntable. Highly recommend it. It's about 120, I think, is what I paid for this. Or one, yeah, like I think 120 or 140. I forgot how much I paid for it. Uh, but I highly recommend it. It has everything that you guys need in a turntable. It has uh, three speeds and it even has this adapter to play 45 RPM records. Uh, and then got these speakers. I forgot what they were called. If you guys want to know, uh, then I'll link it down in the description if you guys want to buy these. I got them from Amazon. I got this turntable from RC Willy, and I got this one from Amazon. Uh, I use this to clean my records. I mostly use just a brush and the anti-static thing. And I don't really use the stylus cleaner, only sometimes, but that's kind of like rare. Also, I don't really use this. I only use this when the record is actually, actually dirty. And well, this is just a stylus cleaner. But yeah, that's what my turntable looks like, or my setup looks like. I will be moving the speakers down here. I know that it's not good to have the speakers next to the turntable, so I'm definitely going to be moving the speakers down here. And I'm probably going to move my record in this shelf. I'm probably going to rearrange this because I'm not sure if I want it like this. I have all my records down the bottom, some right here, some here in this box. If you guys want me to make a video showing you guys the best inner sleeves, outer sleeves, then let me know. I'm supposed to get another 50 pack of inner and outer sleeves soon. Not from the same company, from a different company. So if you guys want me to do that, I'll make a video on that. But like I said, I'm definitely going to be getting more records this week, next week. Oof, I just have a lot of records I pre-ordered that I kind of wish I didn't. It's an expensive hobby, I'm telling you guys. Like, I'm not playing around. It's expensive. So do your research before getting into this hobby. Thank you guys, all of the people that have subscribed to me. I really do appreciate it. And until the next video, 